this video, we're going to talk about finding the best fit line for a set of data. It's rare in the real world to find data that can be perfectly described by a mathematical equation. In these cases where the data can't be perfectly described, we can draw a line of best fit, which is an estimation that best represents the data. The graph of a best fit line doesn't have to pass through all of the data points, and in fact, it may not pass through any of the points. It's just an estimation of a line that most closely fits or represents the data. We're really just going to eyeball these. And then in another video, we'll talk about a more accurate way to find the best fit line. You might find it helpful to have some kind of straight edge or ruler to walk through this video. For each of the scatter plots, we're going to use a straight edge to sketch a best fit line. In the first scatter plot, we have points at 1, 4.6, 2, 4, 3, 3.6, 4, 2.4, 4, 2.7, 5, 2.5, and 6, 1.8. In general, the pattern is decreasing. We'll grab a straight edge and we'll kind of eyeball what a best fit line is. And we'll have to move our straight edge until it looks like we have about the right slope for the data. And that looks like about the right slope. And then we need to move it so that it's kind of in the middle of the data. That looks about right. That is really all there is to it of estimating a line of best fit. First, position your straight edge so that you have roughly the right slope, and then move the straight edge till it looks like it sits with about half the points to the left and half the points to the right. In the second example, we have a scatter plot of points. Every time we have a value, there's another value exactly one unit above it. So we have points at 1, 0.5 and 1, 1.5. 2, 1.5 and 2, 2.5, 3, 2.5 and 3, 3.5, 4, 3.5 and 4, 4.5, and 5, 4.5 and 5, 5.5. When we position our ruler to match the slope, you're going to see that it's a perfect diagonal. It's a slope of exactly 1 or 45 degrees. If I move the ruler so that about half the points are to the left of the ruler and half the points are to the right of the ruler, you're going to see that our best fit line actually goes through none of the points. It goes through a value equidistant from each pair of vertical points. This example is to show you that a line of best fit doesn't necessarily have to pass through any of the data points. Now we have some much more complicated scatter plots. I'm just going to describe them. In this scatter plot, we have a decreasing trend overall with lots of values with no particular pattern to them other than they are decreasing. I'm going to position my ruler so that it looks like it might be about the right slope for this set of values. And then I'm going to move that straight edge so that roughly half the points sit to the left and half the points sit to the right. There's a line of best fit. If you count, there will be eight points to the left of that line and nine points to the right of that line. A couple of those points look like they might actually be on the line. The last graph is a scatter plot with not much pattern to it. It's actually very difficult to eyeball a line of best fit through all of these points that don't seem to have much rhyme or reason or pattern to them. In fact, if we try to position a ruler to match the slope, it's actually kind of difficult to figure out what that slope would be. Guessing on what that slope is, we're all going to choose different values here. And this is why we need a more scientific process for this. I'm going to place my straight edge roughly in the middle of the data with just a slight decreasing slope. Hopefully from these four examples, you can tell that in some cases, it's relatively easy to estimate a line of best fit. But we need a more consistent method to do it, especially when the scatter plots become less obvious. For this, we need linear regression.